Here we go, folks. Nice day for baseball here at the Dan Hudson Baseball Field. I'm James Salvis. Lance Hall will be joining me momentarily. We'll be on the call today. Uh, on the mound today for your Wildcats, we have Lyle Rooney, and behind the plate doing the catching, we got Montgomery. That is James Montgomery. First base, we got Jacob Davison. Second base, we got Brendan Moody. Third base, Andrew Menard. Shortstop, Tyler Rivard. Out in left field, we got Dan DeGrosliers. Out in center field, we got Jaden Baker. And in right field, we got Owen Skirstad. Standing in is Fiaschetti. First pitch is a ball, and we are underway, folks. Fiaschetti, the lefty, stands in. <clears throat> He'll face Rooney, the Wildcats ace. And that ball is rocketed out to left field. DeGrosliers coming on. He can't get it. He'll pick it up on a hop. So Harwood. Swinging the bats early, trying to jump on the hard throwing ace of the Wildcats, the Lyle thing, Lyle Rooney. So a runner at first, nobody out, and that'll bring up Conyers. Conyers stands in now. Rooney now, he's back on the set, he'll wind and fire. That's in there for a strike, folks. You could have heard that pop from Morrisville. That one had some velocity behind it. Hard fastball in there by Rooney. 0-1 the count now. Rooney's gonna step off, runner gets back to first. You see Rooney now, he's gonna pitch from the stretch with a runner at first base. He's not gonna be able to throw from the windup. There's a little bunt out in front of the mound. Rooney took a quick look to second base on to first for the out, so he's just gonna get the sure out at first base there. Rooney, nice job to charge it. So one down and a runner at second. And Palermo stands in now for the Harwood Highlanders. Man, the Highlanders, they got some size out there on their roster. Let me tell you what, folks. They got some big boys. Ooh, nice pitch there by Rooney just on the outside. 1-0 the count now. Let me tell you, Rooney threw the old Uncle Charlie in there, the curveball. Swing and a miss, nice pitch there by Rooney, one and one the count. As I said, Palermo at the plate. Rooney winds and fires. In there for a strike, a ball and two strikes now to Palermo. Now Rooney's got what he wants, he'll come set, he'll kick and deliver. Umpire says he did not. Umpire says he did not go, but oh, he says he did go. So that'll be a pair of shoes for Lyle Rooney. That's what we call a looking strike, folks. So he'll get his first pair of shoes of the game. Now Casey stands in for the Highlanders. And he fights that one foul off towards the Dan Hudson soccer field over behind first. 0-1 the count now. Rooney with a runner at second. Two down. Rooney kicks and delivers. Swing and a miss, nice pitch by Rooney. 0-2 the count. Now to Casey. Rooney winds and fires. That's high for a ball. One and two the count now to Casey. Rooney now, he's gonna come set. He'll kick and fire. That's low for a ball. Fiaschetti moving down to third base. Good throw by Montgomery, just a little late. So Fiaschetti will move up 90 feet to third base. As he started off the game with a single. Rooney now back on the slab. He'll kick and deliver. That's high for a ball. Count runs full. Three and two. So Rooney trying not to issue the free pass here. Rooney's going to step off. Runner's going to scurry back to third base. Rooney now. He'll come set. He'll kick and deliver. 
That ball is fought foul again by Casey over behind first. So Harwood's been on it. They've been swinging the bat early, making some contact, fouling it off, making Rooney throw a lot of pitches here in the first inning. I think their goal is to try and get Hazen into the bullpen early. That's fouled back to the screen. Count remains full, three and two. Casey doing a good job to protect at the plate. He's the third baseman. Rooney now kicks and fires. That just missed for ball four, looked good. So Rooney in a bit of a jam here with two outs. He's gonna try and work his way out of trouble. He's got runners on the corners and two down. And standing in is Moran. He is the first baseman. And that ball is roped up the middle, base hit. Jaden Baker hits the deck for that one. Into the cutoff man, Revard. But we have a one nothing ball game, folks. It is the Harwood Highlanders one, your Wildcats zero. Man, they've been all over Rooney here in the early going, folks. So now Mayer stands in, the center fielder for the Highlanders. They've hit the ball hard today. Montgomery, nice stop behind the plate. Oh, uh, 1-0 oh the count. Rooney now, he's gonna come set. He'll kick and fire. That's in there for a strike right down the pipe. Nice pitch by the Lyle thing. Credit Lance Hall for that nickname. Rooney now, he'll wind the fire. Hit hard, oh! Just underneath the glove of Andrew Menard. I think that one's gonna be ruled as an E5, folks. And throw to the plate and he's out. Nice relay by the, Hort, uh, by the Wildcats. Almost said Hornets, folks. Uh, nice relay there by the Wildcats from DeGrosliers to Rivard to Montgomery. And we'll be right back, folks. Yeah. 
Well, folks, we are back. Brookens is going to be on the mound for the Highlanders. Jaden Baker to lead off for the Cats. In there on the corner. Nice pitch there by Brookens. A little bit of velocity on that one behind the dish. Or uh, on the mound. Ross doing the catching. Brookens now from the windup. He'll kick and fire. Baker shows bunt but pulls it back. As Jaden's dad, Mike Demand Baker in attendance. I gotta say it because Lance isn't here too. Right at the moment. Mike also does some commentary for us here and there. That's in there for a strike. A ball and two strikes now to Jaden Baker, the leadoff man for the Wildcats. Brookens now, he'll wind and fire. High for a ball, two and two. Brookens, folks, this is a good Hardwood Highlanders team. At least they were good when I was in high school, so no shocker to see them up 1 0 early. Brookens now, he's going to kick and deliver. High for a ball, three and two. So full count now. So count runs full now for Baker. Brookens is going to wind and fire. And Baker flips one inside out. That's down the right field line. That's trouble. That's going to drop in for a base knock. Baker takes a big turn at first, but he's going to scoop back in with a single. And now Tyler Rivard, T-Rex, is going to stand in. It's my counterpart, Lance Hall, making his way over. Now Brookens, his first pitch to Rivard. Baker on the move, Baker dives in, safe. Head first dive. Lance, welcome. How's it going, James? Not bad, folks, Lance Hall. Some exciting action here today. Yes, one nothing Harwood early. Really? Hit Lyle pretty hard in the top, uh, top half of the inning. Lyle but Celebrating what, his 200th strikeout the other day, I heard? Yes, 200th career strikeout. Impressive. That is. But Baker already, you know, doing what Hazen does best, swiping bags. Oh, yeah. With Revard at the plate with a 1-0 count. High for a ball. So Baker, he's in the third standing. Back-to-back -back stolen bases there for Jaden Baker. I was trying to get myself acclim like acclimated here, James. <laughs> no problem. I'll figure it out. Lance, no Hall Mountain Vortex today. No, the Vortex is being kept in check today by a high-pressure system. <laughs> it's coming up through from the Bermuda. So we're going to be good. So 3-0 and now. The count to Revard from Brookins. Brookins is going to kick and fire. Ooh, Revard takes a big cut at that. He was swinging for the Judevine Library down at the foot of the hill. <laughs> Tyler has cranked some. This he year. has, and Jaden Baker at third as well. Revard will watch that one. He'll take the free pass down to first base. Oh, Lance, I have the lineups on my phone. So okay. I'm going to have to <laughs> roll with that for now. All right, sounds good to me. So James Montgomery, the number three hitter, he'll stand in and face Brookins. Brookins has got runners at first and third. Nobody out to start the game. Or to start the defensive half for... The Highlanders. He'll step off the mound. You know if Tyler's on first, he's looking to go to second. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. There he goes. Brookens winds and fires. Speak of the devil, Lance. Uh huh. Revard immediately wasting little time to move up 90 feet to second base. Now. So two runners in scoring position now for Montgomery. Licking his chops at the RBI opportunity at the plate. Brookens winds and fires. Nice stop by Ross behind the plate. 
And Lance, we know if Montgomery gets a hold of one, boy, he's got some power too. He does as well. Swings a good bat. Runners in scoring position. Sure does with the wild thing on deck, who also swings a good bat. Yeah. Brookens now winds and fires. Ooh, Montgomery, big swing and a miss. There's that power we were talking about, Lance. Felt a breeze from that one up here. Sure did. Brookens now comes set. He'll kick and deliver. Outside for a ball. Three balls and a strike now to James Montgomery. See something he likes, he's gonna swing, isn't he? Absolutely. Didn't Outside like for take a his ball. Base. So, base is drunk with Wildcats now. <laughs> Full of them. You love that line, don't you, James? Sure do. A la Dennis Eckersley. Yes, sir. Great commentator. Missed that he's not doing the Sox games anymore. Mm. He retired. For those of you who don't know, Eckersley was a Hall of Fame pitcher for the Athletics and Red Sox. High for a ball. That one's going to scoop by. Baker on his way home. Headlong dive, and he's safe. So, Lance, just like that, this game knotted up at one. And we got runners in second and third now. We do. Runners still in scoring position. Revard at uh, third. Montgomery at second. Nobody out, Lance. Chance to put on a lot more runs today. Yes. Rooney looking at the RBI opportunity. So, game knotted up at one, folks, here in the bottom of the first. Brookins now, he'll come set. He'll wind and fire. High for a ball. 2 0 now to Rooney. Brookins now, he'll kick and deliver. Rooney waves at that and misses. 2 and 1 the count. Now to Rooney here in the bottom half of the first. Lyle looking to help his cause here today. Sure is. Put himself up a couple of runs, and he can just relax and pitch, right? Exactly. And Rooney ropes one to left field. That's put away out there by Revard Tags. He's coming home. And Revard in standing, so that'll be a sack fly and an RBI for Lyle Rooney to help his cause. James held it second. Yep, Montgomery's going to hold up. Probably smart. Yeah. With a... Ball not very deep into left field. Well, deep into left field, but not deep enough to move Montgomery up. Up comes the Mahler. Yes, Andrew the Mahler Menard standing in. Andrew's swinging a good bat this year, too. Yes, he is. He plays a good third base as well. Although Lance had an E5 in the bottom of the inning. Ball scooted right under his glove. It happens to the best of us. That's high, Ross. James. What a name. I'm a big fan of that name myself, Lance. What name? James. James? Oh, yeah, it's true. That's true. Got to forgive me today, James. I'm a little tired. <laughs> That's okay, Lance. That's okay. Montgomery I'm, I'm, at third base. I'm going from work mode to, to baseball mode to yes, home mode. Want, want to go to sleep mode. <laughs> baseball can do that to you, Lance. Well, the fact that I worked yesterday and then stacked up three cords of wood last night and then worked again today is not the spring chicken I once was, James. A little high there on the pitch, scooting back to the backstop, but Montgomery's going to have to stay put at third base. There we go. 3-0 and count now to the Mahler, Andrew Menard, son of Ivan and Brenda Menard. Great family. Yes, Ivan also a hockey, or er, Andrew also a hockey player. Yep. Outside, Menard's just going to watch that one. Not worried about that at all. He's going to scoot on down to first base with one out. Jacob Davison, the first baseman, stands in now for the Cats. Just in my limited time of watching uh, this pitcher pitch, he seems to be missing high quite often. Yes, Lance, when I saw him warming up uh, pregame, too, it seemed like he had that same issue. Was throwing a lot of balls high, missed quite a bit up. And I think, Lance, if I was a pitcher, I'd rather miss low than miss high. Yeah, definitely. At least in the dirt, then your catcher's got a chance to stop it. Right. Yeah, because we already saw the ball go over the catcher's head. Yeah. You know, bring a run in for Hazen, so. Yeah, folks, we're going to have a mound visit out on the hill right now. I'm sure the Harwood Highlanders coach just trying to calm Brookins down a little bit on the mound. As he tells him, you know, it's only 2-1. to one. This game isn't out of reach yet. 
And we saw, Lance, that hardwood is jumping, jumping on the first pitch early, too. They early. are not scared to swing the bat. Okay. And they had some hard hit balls. Aggressive hitting. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Yes. But one thing the Wildcats. I like that. Yes, I do, too. One thing the Wildcats do well, Lance, you see that aggressive base running. Mm -hmm. The Spencer Howard special. That's <laughs> what <laughs> I like to call it. So, Brookens on the mound now. He'll get to face Jacob Davison, the first baseman. Keeping Montgomery a third. Yes, almost a Bach there, Lance. Worried about him stealing home, are they? Could be, Lance. Runners at the corner. What? We have one out, two outs? One out. One out. Okay. One out and runners at the corner. And Menard on the move. He's in the second, no problem. Standing. So runners so at second and third, two in scoring position. Outfield playing a little shallow. They are. It's inside for a ball, 2-0 and now to Davison. Davison, you see, wearing Aisha Gould's old number, and Gould is actually in attendance today, Lance. Aisha's him and, here today? Him and Tyson Davison. Okay. Two uh, crucial players for this Cats team last year. That's it. Aisha. Knew him back when he was a Lakeview Laker. Yes. Good athlete. Very. Good ball, good basketball player, good golf, really good golfer. Brookins now he'll kick and deliver. Inside for a ball, and that'll be another free pass issued by the Harwood Highlanders. So base is juiced for Dan DeGroslieres. All Dan's got to do is put a bat on the ball here. Sure does. Even a fly ball into the outfield will score one at least. I'm sure he's looking for a grounder up the middle, though, or maybe trying to find some grass out there in the gaps. Brookens throw back to third, Montgomery safe. Lance, it actually warmed up quite a bit today from yeah, this morning. Yeah, felt good from, uh, from yesterday. Yeah, I had like 22 degrees this morning. Yeah, it was chilly. And yesterday was cold. Yes. Swing and a miss. Yes, the Groslier is there, big swing. Ball and a strike. 2-1 Cats lead, bottom of the first. High for ball, 2-1. As Lance, I had to say before you got here, as always, Mike Demand Baker in attendance. Mike Demand Baker. He's done a little commentary this year. He has, yeah. Always. I had a good time uh, chatting with Mike while we've been doing games. Ooh, inside. The Grosslayers almost had to wear that one. You see Spencer Howard barking out orders there from third base. High for a ball. Oh, I lied, Lance. Now it's three and one. Three and one? All right. He's been known to go high on this pitch. Yes. See what he does. And Lance, if he does walk him here, it's going to be an RBI for Dan DeGroslier. And he'll foul that one back, rocketed. Three and two. So, full count now. Base is loaded, one out. Bottom of the first, 2 1 Cats lead. Oh, and a strike on the corner. I was going to say. By Brookins. That looked a little inside from here, Lance. Well, I was going to say, if I was, if I was Dan DeGrosley, I wouldn't lift the bat off my shoulder, but <laughs> it goes to show what I know about baseball. So two down now, bases loaded for Owen Skirstad. Owen, the scorcher, has been on and fuego. High for a ball. Season. I like that, Owen the scorcher, Skirstad. Yeah, he he's, has uh, been en fuego. He's out in right field today, Lance. In there for a strike, one and one. That was a good pitch by Brookins. That was right down the middle. That was a nice pitch. By the Scorcher. That one. Like that one, Lance. You yeah. always come back and you always have new nicknames. Hi for a ball. Well, after watching it play, I mean, that was an easy one to come up with. Yeah, I'm sure with how hot he's been. It's 
Skorstad, he fell on his, oh. Little roller, he's scorching up the base path. Yeah, they get him speed. though. So, the Cats plate two. And they're up two to one as we head to the top of the second. This after, uh, yeah. We'll be right back, folks. All right, headed to the top of the second here at Hudson Fields at Hayes Union High School. You're watching Hayes and Wildcat Baseball on HGTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support A's Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. James Salvas with the play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall doing tag-along today, as I usually do with baseball. First pitch there from Rooney was a strike. I was going to say, take it away, James. Fouled off by Brookins at the plate, the pitcher. That's low for a ball. Nice stop there by Montgomery behind the plate. See Montgomery Lance with that red, white, and blue chest protector. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Got the Get stars and stripes on it. Got the hazing colors. Getting into the spirit of things here leading up to Memorial Day. Yes. Oh, oh, man. Ripped off foul. That was a shot. That was. That ball was hit hard foul. Jeez, Lance, I want to hit you and leave a two-foot hole coming out. It would. Scorch the grass over there when it hit. So a ball and two strikes now for Brookins. Rooney from the rubber, he'll kick and deliver. Ooh, drop. Oh, they're gonna say it's a foul ball. Really? I, didn't, I didn't see Brookins get a piece of that one. Mm, I did not either, but. I yeah. thought that was gonna be a drop third strike. This has been my line all season. The umpire is standing right there, so. Sure is. He's, he has to be right. Sometimes not always though, Lance. Well, I'm not gonna put on an umpire shirt and go down there. Hi for a ball two and two. Hey, I wouldn't get it right. B, I'm, I'm too scared of the ball. That's why I couldn't play baseball. I'll admit, I'm scared of the ball. Lance, you seem like a soccer player. Uh, Basketball? No. Bowling. Bowling, I know that. I was a bowler. I was a bowler. So Brookins now has got a 2-2 count from Rooney. Rooney will wind and fire. Inside for a ball, another nice stop by Montgomery behind the plate. Yeah, if I was gonna be around a ball, it was gonna be a nice big one with three finger holes in it. <laughs> those, I could, those I could do something with. Foul at the plate. Practice in his golf swing out there. Sure is. Digging into dirt for that one. And you see Montgomery doing an excellent job behind the dish, stopping he some is. of those balls in the dirt. Excellent catcher. He is. He reminds me a lot of uh, the little shopper when he was back there. Mm. And that wow. ball's hit hard out to left field. The Grosliers has got a read on it. He comes in, puts it away. Can of corn out there in left field for Dan the Grosliers. There we go. I'm sorry, folks. I always say his last name wrong, and I know it. <laughs> Now, back in my day, James, when I was still in school 100 years ago, we had a catcher on the baseball team by uh, the name of Johnny Bellavance, who was one of the best catchers I ever saw. Is that Wyatt's dad? Uh, no, uncle. Uncle. Um, fantastic catcher. Didn't let much get by him and had a rifle for an arm. Here's and, a shot. And Frankel fires that one out to center. And Jaden Baker, no problem out there in center for him. Another can of corn out there, Lance. There were not many base runners who got stolen bases off of Johnny. I believe it. I yeah, heard he was cannon. a heck of a player. Cannon for an arm. And now Ross will stand in. I'm only saying last names for Hardwood Lance, as there's only their last names written on the roster. Then that's so. what we go with. Rooney wines and fires. That's in there for a strike, the old uh, curveball there, Lance. Uncle Charlie. <laughs> Lyle Rooney. Rooney wins and fires. Inside for a ball, one and one. Lance Rooney seems a little pumped up on the mound after that first inning. He's got some extra yeah. velocity added to him. This yeah, time. you know, he's got, the, he's got the lead now. He's, you know. There's a strike now. Ball and two strikes to Ross at the plate. Easier to pitch from ahead than from behind, you know? Whoa, for a ball, another nice stop by Montgomery behind the dish. 
Nice day for baseball today, folks, here Not at the Dan bad. Hudson Baseball Diamond. We have frozen a number of games so far this season. And that ball's little roller. Revard scoops it up. He's going to whip it on to first base. Nice pick there by Harwood Davison. goes down one, two, three. Yes, nice inning there for Rooney. Needed it. Yeah, short work. Yes, we'll be right back, folks. Now, little Brendan Moody to stand in for the Hazen Wildcats. His dad, Brendan Moody, was a is a great race car driver at Thunder Road, folks. Yeah. Excellent driver. Oh, that's Moody. stung up the middle. Brendan Moody with a base knock. You say Brendan's been swinging a good bat. He has. Brendan's a good ball player. Hazen bats have uh, have been alive this season. Yes. Brendan uh, shoots the ball well on the basketball court as well. Yeah, he does. That he does. Lights out shooting. But his dad actually, Lance, is the all-time winningest driver in the Flying Tiger division at Thunder Road. Really? I did not know that. And has won quite a few championships and has had some success as a late model driver as of late. I haven't been to Thunder Road in years. I gotta get down there sometime. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Brookins is gonna step off. Moody dives back safe. As you see, the Wildcat dugout had him in as always, Lance. Their chatter is, is top notch. Out of this world, good. Brookins winds and fires. Baker tries to lay down a bunt, and that one's fouled back behind home plate. So, ball and a strike now to Baker. The butcher, the baker. The home run maker. Will he be the hit maker? Yes. As his brother Isaiah was the three point maker. Yes. Had a sweet shot. He did. Now Brookins, he's gonna step off again. Yeah. I think he sees, you know, with how with how quickly these Wildcats swipe bases. You don't even see it sometimes, Lance. Isaiah's shot when it fell through, hardly even rippled the net. And speaking of which, Baker, that one smoked out into the gap, Lance. This might be three bags or more. Still rolling. Baker on his horse. They're running. Spencer Howard's gonna stop him here at third base, and Moody scores from first. So oh, that is an iron. That is an RBI three bagger there for Jaden Baker. The field has been, you know, slow with all the rain and everything, but it looks like it's pretty dry out there now with the wind the past few days. So oh, that yes. ball had some good uh, some good roll on it even after it hit. Jay, rip, that one to the pleasure of his father, Mike. Mike the man Baker. Now T-Rex man, another guy. You want to talk about a man who's yeah. hit some shots this year at the plate. Uh, see him, I saw him hit a home run a couple games prior. Yes, you're going the woods out there, Lance? It was close. It was like left center, and I mean, it just, the ball just kept going and going and going. Brookins now winds and fires. Just Revard. About like that. Wow, that one was roped down the left field line. The left fielder coming on. Oh, he just missed it. Nice effort out there yeah. and left. Good hustle, really nice Lance. Effort. That hill. That hill can mess you up. It can. It can. You get, you're running into the little ditch, and then you go up the hill, and yeah. It's uh, Lance. It's a tough I don't know if you remember the hill out in center field at the Astros old stadium. Vaguely. That Vaguely. used to mess some center fielders up, they said. Some great defensive center fielders had trouble playing in Houston. So all in one there, as you see, Revard wasted a little time swinging at that pitch by Brookins with a runner at third and nobody out. A 3-1 Cats lead. Brookins now kicks and fires. That's low for a ball. That's going to scoop past. And Baker, Baker slides in. in safe. Lance, I don't know about a little bit better throw there, Lance, and I think Baker yeah. might have been hosed have at been, the plate. Yeah. Could have had him. They had a shot. But. They did. 4-1. 4-1. 4-1 indeed. And that wipes the bases clean for rebards. So. Sure does. 4-1 lead, though, for the Cats. Lance, if uh, the Cats get up 10 by the fifth inning, we'll be out of here early. I wouldn't mind that, but I wouldn't mind a scintillating game, a, a, a scintillating seven inning game either. So yes. I, I'm, I'm and, mentally prepared for either. And Lance, you know what? Uh, what I was shocked about right up here at Hazen earlier in the season, these Hazen Wildcats, they jumped all over the People's Academy Wolves. That they did. Avenge that loss in the championship game. They last sure year. did. Spencer Howard had Ben Alexson read well, and Lance. For those, uh, if you didn't know, Ben Alexson, the ace for the uh, for the Wolves, he has a full ride D1 scholarship, uh, accepted to go to Fairfield University for baseball. Nice. Congratulations. So he's a tough one to hit. Yeah. Boy, the Wildcats jumped on him. 
as Spencer Howard told me, Lance, that what happened in the championship was never going to happen again. <laughs> he did take us out early. We, we were done by the first inning in that game. Yes. And the PA bats were rolling, too, as Reverb fouls that one away. Yeah. Three and two now the count, full count for Rivard. Good crowd here today, Lance. Good day for baseball. Yeah, like I said. always a good crowd up here regardless, but this is, uh, for me so far, this has been the best weather game so far. Swing and a miss, so Rivard's gonna go down swinging. One out now. I don't think Rivard's too happy about that one, Lance. He'll be back. Now James Montgomery. I think he knows how close he came on that long foul, you know. Yeah. If he just straightens that one out, that's... Whew. Lance, James Montgomery stands in now, the son of Pam and Rob Montgomery. And that's hit. Oh, that's a fair ball down the left field line. Let's see if James turns on his horse. Ooh, he takes a big turn at first base. Probably wise to scoop back there. Nice rip there by Montgomery. Now the Lyle thing, Lyle Rooney's gonna stand in. Lance Brookins has been in a bit of trouble today yes, on the mound is. for the Highlanders. Would not be surprised if we see a call to the bullpen soon. Cats tag any more on, they might just have to. Yes, and this guy's the guy to do it. Lyle thing. So you see Brookins steps off the mound and Montgomery scoots back. Brookins wins and fires. Montgomery going. I don't think either the second baseman or the shortstop knew who was gonna get that yeah. ball at second base. A little bit of confusion out there. But nonetheless, Montgomery with a slide and he's in safe. It was a decent throw, it was, you know, they made it close. It was, it just, I don't think the second baseman or shortstop were on the same page. All right, the Lyle thing. And that's ripped towards right field. Nice play out there yeah. in right field, puts it away. Nice catch. Yes, very. Lance, let me tell you, this Hardwood team was quite good when I was in high school. They were? They were a very competitive team in Division Two, Which the People's Academy Wolves have moved up to Division Two, Lance, and are seven and one. Yes, that one. Is the hay belongs to the Hazen Wildcats. <laughs> yes, there we go. Brookings. Hazen uh, tagged with their first loss recently down at Spalding, I saw. Spalding, good ball team. Yeah. Good baseball team down there. They're D1, so, you know. What do you expect? They, they really? play a lot of baseball at Barry. So, they do. Yeah. Ooh, big swing by yeah. the baller. Part my hair back here, if I had hair. Yeah. But you got less left of it, right, Lance? Exactly. Which ain't much. Hi. Hi for a ball. Two balls and a strike now to Menard. Montgomery at second. There you see that wind picking up, Lance. Yeah, a little bit of a breeze. Hall Mount Cortex. Yeah, you always have to be aware of it. Sure do. Out in the corner, nice pitch by Brookins for a strike, two and two. I just want to, Lance, real quick, say how good of a job Spencer Howard's done with this Hazen Wildcats team. Yes, yes. Great job, three straight seasons Him, in a row. He's uh, just done a great job. You know, a, other coaches, Joe Rivard and Opie Upson. Yes, yeah. they've done great. All three of that whole staff has done a great job turning this Hazen baseball program around. Brookins now, he'll kick and fire. Inside, full count. Lance, I saw Joey just uh, just graduated the other day. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Joey sure. Hall. Same back to you. I see you got your associate's degree now. Yes. Going to go for the bachelor's. There's the runner. Down to third. They call him out at third base. I was going to say, it looked like the throw would beat him unless he slid under it. Yes, but they call Montgomery out at third base. Spencer Howard frustrated walking back from third base. Folks, we will be right back.
Moving on to the top of the third with the Cats up 4-1. You're watching Hayes and Wildcat Bas Baseball from Hudson Fields on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Their sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522, We Sport Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. James Salvas with the call. Lance Hall playing tag along. Take it away, James. Nice rocketed foul there by Fiaschetti. Lance, he hit a rocket of a single his first at bat. He hit that ball hard out to center field and Baker couldn't do nothing because it bounced before he got to him. But boy, that one had some velo behind it mm -hmm. from the hard swinging lefty Swings for the High Road Highlanders. Nice block there by Montgomery. Scoots out of play. Joe Rivard scoops it up. And Lance, you want to talk about a stellar basketball season. I said this last season, Tyler Rivard, what a season to get oh, to that him. was fantastic. Fantastic Set season. Set the Hayes an uh, all-time record for career rebounds. 1,000 points, 1,000 rebounds. And it? that's another shot hit down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Fiaschetti's going to turn on the Jets. He's headed for second base. And he's in there standing with a stand-up double, Lance. Two hard hit balls for him today. He <laughs> seems to have Lyle's number. Sure does, hitting the ball hard, Lance. Top of their order, hit Lyle pretty good in the bottom half of the first. Let's see what happens here in the top of the third. Standing in now is Connors. Or Conyers, Conyers I think. Conyers stands in. Runner at second, nobody down. 4-1 lead for the Cats. Rooney kicks and delivers. That's in there for a strike line. Someone see that one looked a little outside. <laughs> well, the umpire is standing right there, James. Sure is. Now Rooney, a one on the way. He'll kick and fire. Bunt fouled down right at the plate, Lance. Nice uh, high socks there by Rooney too. The red, white, and blue high yep. socks there. I feel Everybody like that's getting uh, ready for Memorial Day. Yes. Now 0-2 for Connors. And he'll fight one right in front of home plate. Montgomery whips one down to Davison at first base. But the runner, Fiaschetti, moves up 90 feet there, Lance. On third now, Hartwood. Now standing in is Palermo, and I believe he had a nice, nice hit in his first at-bat. Harwood looking to cut into this Hazen lead here at the top of the third. They are. One thing we've seen so far, Lance, they are not afraid to swing the bat. We have two out, though? One out. One out. Okay. Whoa, nice pick there by Montgomery. Okay, it was the way it was showing through the uh, Fence. through the backstop there. Yeah, it looked, it looked like I could see two. As for those of you that don't know, the uh, Hazen softball ladies, they play down at People's Academy. Here's a strike for Rooney. Nice pitch there, one and one. To Connors, or Palermo, I'm sorry. Swing and a miss there by Palermo. Palermo, that's a, that's a fun last name to say, Lance. Yeah. It's a baseball name. Definitely a baseball name. Palermo was there. I thought, I thought it was low. I thought it was low. I thought it was low too. Palermo thought, thought it was low. I might have saw some dirt kick up on that one. But you know what? The you know what I say, right James? There, Lance. The umpire standing right there. Now Casey stands in with Ka two down. Casey at the bat? Yep. Right. Can't get much more baseball than that. Casey. Call out there, they appeal to the field umpire. They say he went. No balls and a strike now to Casey. Rooney winds and fires. They're gonna call that one high even though he's ducking him at the plate. One and one the count now. Rooney kicks and fires. That's high for a ball. Oof, that one had some heat behind it, Lance. Yeah, that was way high, yeah. It was high, but man. It was flying. It was, it, was, it was yes. Traveling. Sure was. Needed a visa. Swing and a miss there by Casey. Two and two the count. 
Rooney trying to set him down here. Get the hot bats of the Hayes and Wildcats back up. Exactly. Doing well, pitching with a man on third here. He is. Struck him out. And a miss. Lyle Rooney, who just like you said, Lance, surpassed his 200th career strikeout the other day. Boy, has he been a tough man to face. Has been. All around fantastic baseball player. It's, and the even more impressive thing, Lance, is he didn't even get a season his freshman year. Right. Because of COVID, which was my senior year that year got canceled. So we'll be right back, folks, as we head to the bottom of the third. Hazen leads four to one. And here we go, folks. Back here from the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. Brookins is gonna remain on the bump, Lance, for the Highlanders. One more time, Let's see what he's got. Jacob Davison stands in, brother of Olivia Davison. Who's a good basketball player, and I believe she played soccer as well. Did she play softball down for a PA? Yes, and she did as well, good at that. Good athlete in her own right. First pitch was a strike there by Brookins. Brookins now, he'll kick and fire. He's got a bit of a long windup, Lance. Mm. Let's see what he can come up with this inning. You see, oh, first two innings have been a little rough for him. Let's see if he settles but, in. You know, he's seen the lineup a couple times now. Right, so exactly. See what happens. For Davison, another big hitter. And he's old school, Lance, no batting gloves. High for a ball, it. two and one. That shows you're tough, Lance. When you got no batting gloves, I could never. My hands would be ringing so bad. High for a ball, that's three and one, Lance, three and one. High again, continuing with the high. Yes, it seems to be a pattern for Brookins yes. on the mound today. Whoa, ball four. Davison wings the elbow pad and the bat. He'll take that free pass. So Dan DeGrosliers is gonna stand in now for the Wildcats. Or as Lance Hall likes to call him, Double D. Double D. Hey, um, or as the bench calls him, Dano. That's oh, even Dano. better. I like that one, Lance. Yeah, take me back to the old Hawaii 5-0 five five oh, uh, days. Yes. So I like that. I, I think we should go with that one, Lance. Yep, Dano, I like, I like that. So Dano at the plate. First pitch was a strike. Second pitch was a strike. Nice pitch there by Brookins. Settling in. Yeah, seems like he's starting to get that fastball dialed in. Now Brookins kicks and delivers. That's hit on the ground. Shortstop, he fires on to second for one. On to first double play, Lance. That one was tailor-made. Textbook double play, yep. Sure was. Brings up the scorcher. That looked like Jeter to Robinson Cano to Mark Teixeira. Wildcats go from threatening to let's hope the scorcher can maybe do something here. Yes, Owen the scorcher, Skirstad. Is it Skorstad or Skorstad, Lance? Uh, Skorstad, I believe. Correct. Owen the Scorcher, Skorstad. And boy, you said he's been hot, Lance. Very. Almost beat out an infield hit in his last at bat. Quick. Very fast. I'm sure he plays a good right field, too. That he does. High for ball 2-0. So a score stat now, his defense got behind him there, helping him, you know, work out of some potential trouble. Mm -hmm. Brookins winds and fires. Ooh, that's a ball, nice, good pitches there from yeah. Brookins. Yeah, that one looks decent. Yeah, some really good pitches there from Brookins. Now Brookins winds and fires. Well, that's side for a ball, so it'll be a four-pitch walk to the Scorcher. And that brings up little Brendan Moody. Brendan Moody has been on base a lot this season. Sure has. He's hit the ball well. Good athlete. And Lance, speaking of legends in attendance today, making his way over, Aaron Hill. Oh, uh, yes. He's here. He sure is. Around. 
Aaron Hill, a big supporter of Hazen Athletics. Usually comes to soccer games as well. See his brother Travis here as well. Yes, and Randy Lumsden's kicking around. And speaking of which, Moody. Brendan Moody, oh, shortstop charges, and he'll just step on the bag over there at second for the out. Easy play there, Lance. And the Wildcats go without a whimper. Yeah, that's no runs in that inning. Nice inning there for Brookings. It was, in. yeah, he needed that. And we'll be back, folks, as it is, we head to the top of the fourth, a 4-1 lead for the Wildcats. All right, back here at the top of the fourth from Hudson Fields at Hazen Union High School in Harding, Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading the Harwood. Is it the Marauders, James? Highlanders. Highlanders. Uh, by score four to one. Uh, HCTV, channel 1080 and www.hctv.us. Oh, diving grab by Revard. What a play by T-Rex. Sorry to cut you off, Lance, no, but that good. was a beauty. I heard the crack of the bat and I knew to stop. Holy cow, Ozzie Smith over there at shortstop. What a diving grab by Revard. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. And that was a jump start on some defense right there for the Cats. Ooh, Lance, let me tell you, that one had base hit written all over it, and Revard had news for that ball. That's a first pitch strike, Lance. I gotta pull the lineups up here again. For I believe it is Fahey, or Mayer, I'm sorry, Mayer. Moran was the one who hit the rocket. Fell back, no car damage. Thankfully, no car damage, Lance. I tell you, that's why I do not park over here. Would yeah. not. Nope. Would not choose to, Lance. I choose not to as Lance, well. the only bad thing about this time of year, bugs are starting to come out. Yeah, Mosquitoes. the black flies. Swing, oh. Run it out, run it out. Drop third strike, Montgomery flips it down to Davison, and two quick outs there for the Wildcats, Lance. I keep almost wanting to say Hornets. Yeah. <laughs> Because all the sports I commentate up at Linden, I almost keep wanting to say Hornets. But. That was another reason why I, wanted, why I wanted to get the wood stack last night at about 45 degrees with a steady breeze blowing out of the north. I did not break a sweat, and I did not have a single black fly on me the entire two hours I was out there, and it was bliss. That is good, Lance. Other than being exhausted today. High yeah. pitch there to Brookins from Rooney. But it's a good tired. It's a satisfied tire. It is. Like, you, you did something. Right? Right. I feel accomplished. And, and Brookins fouls that one back. Chopper in the dirt. Yeah, a little bit. Ball and a strike now, two gone. I still can't get over that play by Rooney Lance. That was a heck of a dive uh, Tyler, in Tyler, yeah. That might be my James Salvis play of the game. There you go. And fouled back by Brookins. That one almost had danger written all over it, Lance. Two strikes now? Two strikes, two down. Top of the fourth, 4-1. Four Rooney wines and fires. Another one fouled back by Brookins, heads up. Oh, just missed the Ford in the parking lot by about centimeters. Key, key word is missed. Yes, key word there is missed, Lance. And when I say miss, I mean just. So Brookins now doing a good job to protect at the plate, battling. Rooney, Rooney pitch. He's going to wind and fire. Brookins rips one to third. Oh, Lance, they call it the, the hot ball. corner for a reason, and That's the Mahler right. made that look easy. Made it look pretty cool. Sure did. So headed to the bottom of the fourth. 4-1 lead for your Cats. We'll be right back. Back here, folks, from the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond, I'm James Salvis. Alongside me today, we got the legendary Lance Hall. Playing tag along. Top of the order now for the Cats. Yes, Jaden Baker, who had a rocket of a triple. He did. That was a well last at ball. bat. Sure was. As you see, like you said, Lance, the Hill brothers watching on. Oh, we yeah. got Mike Baker yeah, here, Randy Lumsden. Brookins wines and fires. Oh, inside. Baker almost had to wear that one. Let me tell you, Lance, that does not feel good. I've been hit with a few of those in my day. That's why I never played baseball. I'm scared of the ball. <coughs> Brookins kicks and fires. And they're I, high. I, I would get hit once, and I would take my ball and go home. <laughs> Two balls and no strikes. 
now to Baker. Lance, let me tell you, when you get hit a few times, you know, a couple times, you get used to it. <laughs> Brookins wines and fires. And Baker rips another one up the middle. Base not. A nice hit there for Jaden Baker. I believe Jaden Baker Swing is hot bat. three for three on the day, Lance. And Tyler Reaver, who just missed a home run, got to straighten that one out a little bit. He flipped one down towards uh, the hill over there. I don't know though, James. Getting hit by a baseball, I oh, I'm not saying it's I put enjoyable. that right up with stepping on a Lego in the dark. You just you don't get used to that. <laughs> That's a good point, Lance. Yeah. That's a good point. I'm not saying it's an enjoyable experience, Lance. I'm just saying it. <laughs> get used to it after a while. Brookins now, back on the rubber. His first pitch was a ball. He'll kick it fire. Baker on the run. Throw high. Throw high, nice grab there by the shortstop. Now 2-0 to Rivard. I think Baker's itching for another 90 feet here, Lance. Yes. Wants to come in and score again. If I had to hazard a guess, chopper right there, the a little chopper to first base. Got to move Baker down. Revard again flings the helmet, not happy. Tyler just, he's, he knows he's just missing, you know? He is. He got to hit his first at bat, and then he struck out and grounded out there to first. He It'll knows he's, he's not missing by much. There's a little bit of frustration. But with one out, Baker at third base for Montgomery. James Montgomery at the plate. And James Montgomery rockets one to left field. Oh, that ball is going. That might be an inside the parker here, Lance. Montgomery on his horse. Let's see if Howard sends him. Oh, Howard's going to hold him up. Left fielder made a nice play to get on it. He did. Lance, I think if he was a hair later, we might have seen Montgomery sent. Yeah. But Nonetheless, that's two RBI triples we've seen today. One by Baker out to center field, and this one by Montgomery to left. Great piece. There's of that right power there. we were talking about, Lance. Exactly. Ball took off. Five-one, your score. Sure one did, out. Lance. If we got a little vortex action to left field, and then it carried it into the trees and met an automatic. <laughs> then he wouldn't have had to do all that running. Now the Lyle thing. Lyle Rooney at the plate. Five-one lead for the Cats. Bottom of the fourth. Whoa! Hi there. Rooney loses his foot in there at the plate. <laughs> Knows how to just brush it off, though. Sure is. Let me tell you, Lance, that's the scary one when you see it coming at your head. Yeah. That one ain't fun. Brookins now winds and fires. Whew. Lance, if that ain't a strike, I guess I don't know what one is. Umpire standing right there, James. That looked good to me. <laughs> I guess that's why he I'm must have saw something that we did. I guess that's why I'm up here, or we're up here, and he's down there. That's right. Brookins will wind and fire. Foul back there by Rooney. That'll hit some pavement. Scoop. Foul over there. Two and one are counts. Yes, two and one to Rooney. Rooney found something to hit there and fouled it off. Brookins lands. Montgomery on third. Behind him. Montgomery's going to come in. He's safe. Safe. That was a nice tag there by the pitcher, though. Great play. Not a great throw by the catcher again. No, but, you know, it was close. That's two outs they could have had at the plate there, Lance, yeah. but the catcher just flipping it to, her, to uh, the pitcher instead of giving him an yeah. overhead throw there. Montgomery yeah, yeah. glad he's... Glad he's safe. Looked like he might have got cleated a little bit. Glad he is okay. Everybody check it, make sure everybody's okay, which is nice. Nice sportsmanship out there today. Yes, we have the trainer, Vin Ferrasi, down there. Very Base is good. clean now for the Lyle thing. Very good. Vin Ferrasi, trainer for also People's Academy and LaMoyle. That one's going to scoot up the middle. Base hit for Lyle Rooney. Up next, the Mauler. 6-1 lead for the Cats with only one down. As now here, Andrew the Mahler Menard stands in. As you said before, Lance, a good hockey player. Now Harwood's coach on their way to the mound, and this could be all for Brookins. He has struggled mightily. 
He's calling him in, Lance. We're gonna make a call to the bullpen, folks. We will be right back. Mayor wines and fires. In there for a ball, three and one the count now. Possibility of walking a run in and with that'll still Tyler Rebard on deck. That'll still be an RBI Lance, even if he walks him in. That is a true fact with the bases loaded. If he walks in, the hitter that gets walked gets an RBI. Oh, Baker, oh, dropped at second base. And down to first, that'll do it, Lance. That ball was smoked, though, it by was. Dave Baker. And we'll just settle in here for three more innings of baseball now. Oh, no, not yet, Lance. We got five. Oh, we got five. Oh, that was the fourth? Yes. Okay. So we head to the top of the fifth. And now I we head to the fifth. OK. Yes, now we head to the fifth, Lance. All right. Oh, Lance. I thought it was in the fifth. I was getting excited. Oh, Lance, I thought we were going to have a pitching change for a second. It looked like Menard was going to step on the mound, but. Rooney will return. We will be back, folks. All right, so we do wow. indeed move to the top of the fifth here at Hudson Fields from AZ High School in Hartford, Vermont. As the Harwood taking on your Wildcats. Cats lead by a score of eight to one. You're watching Hazel Wildcat Baseball on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsor State Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazel Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsd.org. Jumpstart your future. There's a jump start on Slant. a hit. Yeah, speaking of which, Lance, geez, I'm James Salvis with the call today. Lance Hall playing tag along. Frankel at the plate, Lance, and he frankly hammered that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are in the fifth now. Yes, top of the fifth. Top of the fifth. So, Lance, right. if we can push across 11 by the bottom, we'll be done. Well, that's, that is, of course, the, given the fact that we still hold them to one. Yes. Here. Yes. Which, the way things have been going, it's pretty much been one, two, three here. It has. I mean, Lyle, after that first inning, Lance settled right in. Settled in. has been pitching splendidly. He settled in and channeled his best Greg Maddox on the mound. Let's hope he continues. Yes. It's like I said, Frankel at the plate to a two and one count. Man, Lance, that foul ball, I'm surprised the fence didn't come off the dugout down there. Boy, that ball was hit hard. So I think uh, Jaden Baker is now three for four at the plate on the day, yep. Lance. He might be in contention for my player of the game. That is low for a ball, three and one now. Rooney in a bit of a jam. Lyle looking to pitch himself out here. Franco at the plate, Ross on deck, and Fiaschetti in the hole. Because you remember right, uh, Harwood got a runner on third last inning, and uh, they did because Fiaschetti got a right. rope of a rope of a hit. He's two, he has two today, Lance. And so Lyle that. managed to uh, not yield the run. So. He, yeah, Lance, he's had two today that are hit hard. I mean, and Fiaschetti now on deck, Lance, and he's given Rooney some problems today. So now with an early runner on, Harwood looking to capitalize. So now Ross. At the plate, the catcher with a runner at first and nobody out. Rooney now, he'll kick and fire. It's outside, nice stop by Montgomery. Lance Aaron Hill gave me a little piece of knowledge. Joe's been coaching all these kids since they were little, so you know, the chemistry from the coaching staff with right. these guys is. Oh, hit to first base, nice play there by Davis. Oh. Lance, I thought Davison made a throw to second I base so there. I think that's going to be an E3, Lance. He dropped the ball on the uh, throw. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, everything happened so quickly out there. I couldn't really tell what was going on. Whew, Lance with runners at first and second now. Fiaschetti, who has hit the crap out of the baseball today for the Highlanders, man. He has hit Rooney hard today. Rooney looking for a big out here. Mm -hmm. I think Rooney thought he had a double play there. Yeah, it looked like they were going to turn one there for a moment. Did. Davison just dropped it. No outs. Runners at first and second. I would hope you're going to come back. First pitch there, I believe, was a ball. That one's a strike. Kept that one down, Lance. Kept the bunt down there. 
Piacetti. Rooney looking to settle back in, hopefully get his defense back behind him. Typically good fielders, Lance. Yeah. Couple yeah. errors today, one by Menard, one by Davison. You don't see that too often. No, you do not. And Piacetti rockets one to left. Dano coming on, nice play, takes a tumble out there and left. Nice play by Dano Beautiful in left catch field. By Dano de Grosliere. Yes, Dano de Grosliere. That gets by him, two runs probably score. Lance, you want to talk about another big name in athletics here, de Grosliere. Yeah. Jennifer, Hazen's all time leading score for both boys and girls basketball with 1,902 points. And one heck of a soccer player as well. Uh, phenomenal athlete. Yes. Phenomenal athlete. and probably one of the most driven people I've ever known. Yes. You know? Now standing in is Connors. Connors for the Highlanders with runners at first and second, one down. Rooney now, he'll wind and fire. That's in there for a strike. Reach back and fired that one in, Lance. A little bit extra velocity there. Looking to just get out of this inning. He is. Rooney, you know, his, def his defense has been there for him, Lance, so he's He's not scared of them putting balls in play. You saw that made very apparent. Chases that one. Who Connors, you know, Lance, that's... That looks a little low, the way he was <laughs> tipping down like that. You know, Lance, the thing about pitchers is they can make you look so silly at the plate. Mm -hmm. Rooney, swing and miss. That's a drop third strike. Uh, Lance, I'm not too sure why Spencer Howard said to eat it there. That... I thought he swung and missed at it. I don't, I have a runner coming off. I yes, I'm not sure what happened there. I thought it was a drop third strike, but clearly I am mistaken, folks. I, I know quite a lot about baseball, but I'm not sure what happened there. Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't have a clue. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm not sure what the call was then, Lance. He's out. He's back in the dugout. Has Palermo at the plate now, Lance. That's a good name, Palermo. Great name. I still have absolutely no clue what that call was. I have to ask Spencer about that after the game. Rooney wins and fires Palermo. Oh, geez. He was swinging for the cafe down there. Rooney wins and fires. Low for a ball there. 2 0. 2 and 1 now, sorry, to Palermo. Right. Swing and a miss, strike three, or strike two, sorry. Sorry, folks, got a little eager there. That was a strike. Okay, with the, with the way the call was, there was a runner on first, so with the runner on first, there's nowhere for the batter to go, so even on a drop third strike, uh, the batter's out. Oh, okay. That's one rule I didn't know, Lance. Now the count runs full, Rooney. Starting to show some signs of fatigue, I think, Lance. Well, let's hope that uh, he can get this uh, next, this last out, and we can put on three runs and get out of here. We're all, we're all a little fatigued today. I agree. Ball four, so the bases are juiced, Lance. Bases couldn't be any more full if they tried. Uh, no. Big situation for you, kid. Now Casey at the plate. I tell you, if there's ever a name you want up with the bases loaded, it's Casey. The mighty Casey at the bat. I, yeah, I agree, Lance. Oh, and he hits one right to Davis at first base, and he spears it. Nice play. He didn't play. strike out, but <laughs> Casey's not happy. No. He's not happy, and you can't blame him. You know, you got up there, your base is loaded, you want to do something, and that happens. Hit a ball hard, Lance. Like I said, yeah. good to see Tyson Davison and Asia Gould in attendance, yeah, supporting their former teammates. So we move to the bottom of the fifth now. Cats up 8-1. We'll be right back. 
And folks, here we go, back at the Dan Hudson Baseball Diamond. James Salvas on the call, Lance Hall. Doing tag along. The Tyler. chairman of the boards, yes. Tyler Rebard. Tyler Rebard stands in now. He'll face Mayer here in the bottom of the fifth. 8-1 lead for the Cats. Tyler's been just off of the spot. Not on that one, though. Center fielder coming in. It's oh, roped out to center field. That one's down, Lance. Tyler's we might gonna have. Tyler's going to go to second. He's going to go to third. And they're going to hold it there. There's what we need. That's the Tyler Rebard we know and love, Lance. Nice triple right there. Center fielder, though, I mean, misplayed, fell, whatever you want to call it to give he him did. the extra base. Could be a little wet out there, too, like you said, yeah. Lance, and could have just slipped. It's so hard, Lance, when you get your cleats dug in sometimes to yeah. decleat and be able to move real quick, and that ball was smoked, too. James Montgomery up now. Yeah, that was a, that was cranking. It was. I want to see the exit velo on that. Oh. Montgomery fouls one off his foot. That one cannot feel good, Lance. Is Montgomery a tough walk it off, yeah. Montgomery a tough kid, Lance. He is. But if that goes off your ankle just right. That does not feel good. No. You see the trainer out checking him, making sure yep. nothing's broke. Lance, you know, I honestly have no clue who would catch. Uh James actually got tossed out of a game here a couple games ago and Andrew Menard. Caught. Really? Yep. Yeah, and oh. James coming off. It looks like James Montgomery is going to come off the field. That one cannot feel good, Lance. No. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, Andrew Menard uh, and, and did a, an admirable job at, at catcher. I mean, he's he's got the build for it, Lance. Yeah. So it looks like, Lance, if we do have to play some more, Menard is probably going to have to come in in relief yeah. behind the plate. Which I'll be interested to see who goes on to play the three bag at that point. Is Rooney going to come off the mound then? I cannot remember who they put. No, they put, uh, I think they put Jake at, th at third. Jake Davison? Yep. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, who's, his, who's number 10? Hayden, right? Yeah. Uh, Jake Hayden, correct? Yes. They put him at third last time when, when Andrew uh, came in as catcher. Yeah, Jake Hayden. Yeah. They moved, they moved him to third and put Andrew at catcher. And in the, the last game, I don't know if they'll do it again this time, but uh, that's what they did then. Oh, yeah, Lance, I just saw James's ankle. Big bruise on it from right here, I could see. <laughs> Yikes. Rebard on his way home. He dives in safe. So Jake Hayden didn't have to do much there, Lance. Sure hope James Montgomery's okay. That does not look like it feels very good. No. He's getting all kinds of tape down there from Vin Ferrossi. Great, great athletic trainer. If I would trust anybody, I'd trust Vinny, I can tell you that. Ball and a strike now to Jake Hayden. Or it's one and two, sorry Lance. Okay, one and two. Outside for a ball, two and two. With the wild thing on deck. Swing. Jake Hayden, that looked like a little bit of an off speed pitch there. Yeah. It's kind of fooled him. But the wild thing coming up. And the mauler, you see, clanks the bat weight nice. off in the on deck circle. See what the cats can do here. Yeah, Salusa Montgomery, though, like I said, I hope it's not a long term thing because he is a big bat and a big player in this lineup. Wild in there for a strike. Nice pitch by Mayer. Nice take there by Mayer. You see a lot of batters, though, take on the first pitch, Lance. Yeah. Not, not surprising to see. Lyle well, looked like he wanted to swing. He did. Looked, looked like he did there, too. Yeah. But probably wise to watch that one. One and one to count. Yes. One ball, one, one strike, one out. Bottom of the fifth. Cats up 9-1. Oh. 
high for a ball. Two and one. There now, he'll wind and fire. And Rooney hits one little shallow into left field. Is that gonna drop in? Foul. Third baseman could not catch that one, Lance. It's a little hard to see sometimes, Lance, with the dugout yes, out there at third is. base, down the third baseline. Just what's happening over there. Let me tell you, Lance, these dugouts are tiny, too. Mm -hmm. They're not very big. Been in them. I can stick my arms out and practically be all the way across it. There now ones and fires. Rooney cuts and misses, two down now. Well, Lance, our bit of maybe getting out of here early is. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm getting ready to settle in for a couple more innings of baseball. Yeah. Well, Lance, I don't know. We might have a pitching change here. It looks like Revard's warming up down there. Now Mayer is going to wind and fire. Mayer, chopper, back the chopper up the middle. Shortstop scoops it. Oh, Andrew. And he's out. So at the end of five, it is the Cats up nine to one. One. We'll be right back, folks. So, folks, standing in now for, for the Harwood Highlanders is... All right. Standing in now for the Harwood Highlanders is Moran. So a couple changes defensively now for the Cats. Jake Hayden's going to stay at third base, or going to come in at third base. And Andrew Bernard coming in in emergency relief behind the dish for James Montgomery. Saw him uh, take that foul ball off the ankle. I heard him pretty bad. So top of six, Cats up 9-1. You're watching Hayes and Wildcat Baseball here on ACTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archive, www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Lance, uh, James Salvas what to call Lance. I'll play tag along. You know, James, we almost sounded disappointed <laughs> that the Cats didn't get the two more runs they needed to yes, end this mean, fifth. Yes, but I mean, contrary to popular belief, we are not. No. Well, Game's I, been going by pretty quick, actually. Yeah, started nice, at 4.30. It's only a little after 6. Nice, a nice night. Day out here. Let's watch some baseball. Swing and a miss. Lance, is uh, anybody catching your eye for player of the game so far? I'm having trouble picking one player for the Cats so far. Yeah, I mean, far, we've seen some great plays, some great I mean, hitting. Jaden yeah. Baker's hit the ball well. Yeah. James Montgomery hit the ball well today. Lyle's pitched a beauty on the mound. I say we give it a couple more innings and see what happens. Yep, Lyle plunking him there. Definitely play of the game so far. I think it was Tyler's grab Oh, absolutely. Sure. That was a great, that great is, defensive play. That was. Like I said, a la Robin Yount over there at yes. shortstop. Lance, you said Montgomery got thrown out of a game. Yeah, um, it was in the bottom of the first. He was on, he was on base, and there was a hit, and he came in, and he was like, it was a bunt, beautiful bunt, nice bunt, He's safe, nice bunt there. Uh, there was a, it involved a play at the plate where James was coming in to score, and the throw had beaten him in, and he he ran into the catcher. Nothing malicious, no lowering of the shoulder or anything like that. I mean, Weird. he gave him a pretty good shot. We wondered if maybe because there was no attempt to slide or something yeah. like that. I don't know. But. You see, Lance, it's weird. I was at a Linden Institute high school game just last week before, you know, we got done for the year for college. Yeah. And, Lance, that same thing happened in a JV game. But what I will say, Lance, is if the catcher blocks the plate, like if the ball brings him that way where he has to block the plate, then, then the runner has the right to... Yeah. Because the new rule in baseball, Lance, you have to give them room to slide. And that's what we wondered, too, because he didn't really make any attempt to slide. You know, but he did the came catcher give him up. room to slide? I is don't the know. question. I, I, to, from memory, I think so. Okay. But uh, so, yeah, so, the yeah, umpire Lance, very quickly uh, tossed him. Yeah, Lance, that happened, like I said, at Linden Institute, and it was a quick heave ho. Yeah, the runner got, the runner got heaved. Yeah, it was a quick heave ho. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, you know, Pete Rose running into Ray Fossey, but uh, a shot. Oh, 
they're going to call him out at first base, I think, Lance. Not to the uh, pleasure there of the Harwood Highlanders. Yeah. Uh, coach, the coach for Harwood standing there, though, not really. He called him safe. He called him safe, but he's not really arguing, though. No, he's not, but the Harwood coach called him safe. Yeah. <laughs> so a 9-2 game now, Lance. We've seen some funny calls like that on the base pass. We uh, have, we year. have. I'm gonna see who's standing in, Lance. Should know it by now, but. This is Frankel. Frankel standing in. So we got a runner on third. One out. Oh, swing and a miss. Oh! Would have had him. Good throw. If he would have had that throw a list a little more on, they would have had him. But. Nice hustle by Andrew great Bernard, hustle though, to try and Andrew. get back to the. Great hustle, yeah. Just I mean, a great play to make it that close. True. To even make it that close, it was a great play. Feel bad for Lyle there. <laughs> yeah. Almost got spiked at the plate there. Yeah. That's the only tough thing, Lance. When you're going to try and make a play like that, you got to get in the way of the plate sometimes. If you're yeah. going to get spiked, you're going to get slid into. So Menard, that's going to be, unfortunately, Lance, the second error of the game. Made one at third base, and then now that one will be an E2. So Throwing. empty and empty bases for Frankel. Yes, with one out. 9-3 game. Lance Harwood making things interesting here. Yeah. Like I said, Lance, I think Lyle's starting to show a little bit of fatigue on the mound. Yeah. I don't think it... If this keeps up for the Highlanders, I don't think it'll be long before Howard comes out and calls in T-Rex. T-Rex, and I think we've, I want to say I've seen Brendan pitch as well. Yeah, Brendan, Brendan throws a little bit. He pitched a little bit at PA last year. Now Rooney winds and fires. That's in there for a strike, nice pitch. Like you said, Lance said, Andrew does a good job behind the plate. For not being the everyday catcher, he does a yeah. good job. Yeah, uh, you know, according to Mike Demand Baker, he hadn't played catcher in quite a while when he came in last time. So. Yes, and Mike said he threw out the first stealer, first yeah. guy trying to steal on him. Yeah. So you know, but Menard has a good arm, so we know that for certain. Sure, going across from third to first, you know. Yep. Ooh, that looked good, Lance. A little low, says the home plate umpire. Two and two now. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Ooh, strike two, Lance. They had two up on the board. Yep. Now it's two and two. So. Swing and a miss. Nice block there by Menard. Don't let a foul. I heard something about the scoreboard's wrong. Well, I, I guess that's two we've strikes. Had all kinds of, we've had all kinds of things happening here today. We have. We just haven't seen a whole mountain vortex. That's probably not the only thing. I feel oh, stirring. man. That was a nice pitch there by Rooney. Good curveball. I thought, oof. Again, Lance, I'm standing right there. <laughs> I feel the vortex stirring. I do, too. That was low. That's low for the ball. Three and two now, the count. Running Two it. outs. Two outs and it runs full. But the Highlanders have scraped back in a little bit, pushed across two. Strike There's three. a pair of shoes for Rooney. That's the one he was looking for. Lance, I think that that one might be it for Rooney though. Yeah. He's pitched a beauty. Move us to the uh, bottom of the six with the Cats up 9-3. Yes. Dan Hudson baseball diamond, bottom of the sixth inning. 9-3 lead for your Cats. Jacob Davison at the plate now. As always, I'm James Salvis doing the play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall. I'm doing tag along today. And he's doing a stellar job. As, as are you, James. Thank you. As Mayor remains on the mound for the Highlanders. Yeah, uh, Harwood put a couple across there in the bottom of the, uh, or uh, top of the sixth. Sure did. Just, uh, now two balls and a strike for Davison. You know, Lance, see what happens. today is a good day for a creamy, Lance. A good day for a creamy? I think so. Not, I, not I, hot I enough about, yet, Lance? I, no, not quite hot enough. I eat about two creamies a year. Really? Yeah. Not an ice cream fan, Lance? Uh, I am, but I like to watch my figure. Makes sense. I like to watch my figure expand if I eat too much ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lance, I, said, no. I guess when you're built like me, you can eat what you want. Yeah, you can. Those. And enjoy that while you can, because someday it will catch up with you. Oh, I know. That's why I always tell my friends, I might as well eat it now, Lance, while exactly. my body can still digest it. Yep. 
Yeah. Three and one now to Davison. I might take a hot fudge Sunday today. That'd be a good day for a little warmth there. I don't know. In there for a strike. Three and two now. Count full to Davison. I don't know. Last time Mike DeMann Baker and I were talking about what we were going to have for supper, and I mentioned grilled cheese then, and I did have one that night. I'm almost thinking about one again for tonight. You know, Something about baseball good. makes me want to eat grilled cheese sandwiches. Davison fouls one off. You know, Lance, the, the grilled cheese sounds good on a day like today. Yeah. Pizza? I don't know. I had pizza thinking. yesterday. I'm thinking of some, I'm thinking maybe some pizza, Lance. I had pizza mm. yesterday. Can't go wrong with pizza. Though. No, no, never. I will never refuse pizza. Same. That one's back. In. Another one by Davison Powell. That one, fortunately, catching some grass and slowing down to a stop over there. So three and two, Davison doing a good job of protecting at the plate. Now Mayer winds and fires. In the dirt. Slow, nice takes his base. Nice block there. I think Davison's walked all four times he's been he to the plate. Dano de Grosliere up next. Yes, Dano de Grosliere at the plate. Who made a nice catch out and left. Uh, sure did. In the game to save a couple of runs. He did. That would have been danger, Lance. That would have made this score probably 9-5, maybe 9-6. Yeah. That would have been, we would have had ourselves a game. Squares up the bunt, lays one down, right back to the pitcher. Throw down. Dano beats it at first, not the way he wanted that bunt to go. Yeah. Usually, That's in that situation, advanced. Lance, you're bunting for a sacrifice right. to move you the runner advance. up. But I think he got a little bit too much of it, and like you said, put it right back at the pitcher. The scorcher up next. He had a nice hit his last at bat, I believe. He did. Drove in a run. Just scooted past the dive of the infield. Yes, he did. The scorcher. Oh! Pick off to first base, Lance. Well, that that looked, him. looked like he had him. My mom's sporting some nachos. Yeah. She sits down. <laughs> Nacho sounds good. They do, Lance. They do. Mayor winds and fires. That's in there for a strike. That's a good pitch. Right down the pipe. That's where you want it as a pitcher. That's one thing you see here, Lance. When any of the guys slide, you see the dirt. Back to first. Ooh, another good pickoff move, Lance. I think <laughs> Davison might have been out twice. <laughs> Got lucky a couple times here. I think he did. It's hard to see from over here, too, as an umpire. That one, not so bad. <laughs> you might as well just stand on first, you know? Might as well. I'm just not going. Yeah. <laughs> just stand with your foot You know, Lance, face. I think at one of the college games over at Linden this year, I think I might have seen the record for most throws over to most pickoff attempts by a single pitcher in a game. It had to be at least four times. Yeah. Scorcher. Time. Scorcher to the second, second base. base. Did you get him at first, Lance? No. Sorry, I got bit by a mosquito. So. I tell you, you know what I could go for for supper tonight? What I'd, I'd have to turn back the clock to about 1985 because this place doesn't even exist anymore. That little drive-in restaurant across from my parents' house, this is back when it was called the Chicken Coop, and Gaten and Bonnie Brochu owned it. Yep. They did a pizza burger that I can taste in my mouth right now. It was like, you know, a patty that was like a pizza. You know, I had like a pizza taste to it. And Bonnie used to put a little bit of sauce and a little bit of shredded mozzarella on it. She'd cook one side, then flip it, put the sauce and shredded mozzarella on the other side, cover it, put it on a bun. Oh, my God. I could eat three at a time. Scorcher. I was oh, hit a mile that's high. That's Brendan Moody. No, that's oh, okay, Moody, yep. And he puts it away. So. Would that be, is that a can of corn? Yes. Okay, can of corn. That is a can of corn over there for the second baseman. Right, so this comes off Moody's bat, I'm sorry. Yes, after six, Hornets lead nine to three. All right. So Lance, I think we're going to see the closer, Tyler Rivard, come on to bolster down the save out of the pen. We'll be here to call it either way. Sure will. We'll be right back. Dan Hudson, baseball diamond, bottom of the sixth inning. 9-3 lead for your Cats. Jacob Davison at the plate now. 
As always, I'm James Salvis doing the play-by-play. -play. Lance Hall. I'm doing tag-along today. And he's doing a stellar job. As, as are you, James. Thank you. As Mayor remains on the mound for the Highlanders. Yeah, uh, Harwood put a couple across there in the bottom of the, uh, or uh, top of the sixth. Sure did. Just, uh, now two balls and a strike for Davison. You know, Lance, see what happens. today is a good day for a creamy, Lance. A good day for a creamy? I think so. <sighs> not not I, hot I enough about, yet, Lance? I, no, not quite hot enough. I eat about two creamies a year. Really? Yeah. Not an ice cream fan, Lance? Uh, I am, but I like to watch my figure. Makes sense. I like to watch my figure expand if I eat too much ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Lance, I, said, no. I guess when you're built like me, you can eat what you want. Yeah, you can. And enjoy that while you can, because someday it will catch up with you. Oh, I know. That's why I always tell my friends, I might as well eat it now, Lance, while my exactly. body can still digest it. Yep. Yeah. Three and one now to Davison. I might take a hot fudge Sunday today. You know, That'd be a good day for a little day. warmth there. I don't know. In there for a strike. Three and two now. Count full to Davison. I don't know, last time Mike DeMann Baker and I were talking about what we were going to have for supper, and I mentioned grilled cheese then, and I did have one that night, and I'm almost thinking about one again for tonight. You know, Something about baseball makes me want to eat grilled cheese sandwiches. Davison fouls one off. You know, Lance, it, it, grilled cheese sounds good on a day like today. Yeah. Pizza? I don't know. Lance. I had I'm pizza thinking, yesterday. I'm thinking, of some, I'm thinking maybe some pizza, Lance. I had mm. pizza yesterday. Can't go wrong with pizza. Though. No, no, never. I will never refuse pizza. Same. That one's back. In. Another one by Davidson Powell. That one, fortunately, catching some grass and slowing down to a stop over there. So three and two, Davidson doing a good job of protecting at the plate. Now Mayor winds and fires. In the dirt, Slow, nice takes his base. Nice block there. I think Davison's walked all four times he's been he to the plate. Dano de Grosliere up next. Yes, Dano de Grosliere at the plate. Who made a nice catch out and left. Uh, sure did. In the game to save a couple of runs. He did. That would have been danger, Lance. That would have made the score probably 9-5, maybe 9-6. Yeah. That would have been, we would have had ourselves a game. Squares up the bunt, lays one down, right back to the pitcher. Throw down. Dano beats it at first, not the way he wanted that bunt to go. Yeah. Usually, it's in that situation, advanced. Lance, you're bunting for a sacrifice right. to move you the runner advance. up. But I think he got a little bit too much of it, and like you said, put it right back at the pitcher. The scorcher up next. He had a nice hit his last at bat, I believe. He did. Drove in a run. Just scooted past the dive of the infield. Yes, he did. The scorcher. Oh! Pick off to first base, Lance. Well, that that looked, looked like he had him. My mom's sporting some nachos. Yeah. She sits down. <laughs> nachos sounds good. They do, Lance. They do. Mayor winds and fires. That's in there for a strike. That's a good pitch. Right down the pipe. That's where you want it as a pitcher. That's one thing you see here, Lance. When any of the guys slide, you see the dirt. Back to first. Ooh, another good pickoff move, Lance. I think <laughs> Davison might have been out twice. <laughs> Got lucky a couple times here. I think he did. It's hard to see from over here, too, as an umpire. That one, not so bad. <laughs> He might as well just stand on first, you know? Might as well. I'm just not going. Yeah. <laughs> just stand with your foot You know, Lance, face. I think at one of the college games over at Linden this year, I think I might have seen the record for most throws over to most pickoff attempts by a single pitcher in a game. It had to be at least four times. Yeah. Scorcher. Time. Scorcher. To the to second, second base. base. Did you get him at first, Lance? No. Sorry, I got bit by a mosquito, so... I tell you, you know what I could go for for supper tonight? What I'd, is I'd have to turn back the clock to about 1985 because this place doesn't even exist anymore. That little drive-in restaurant across from my parents' house, this is back when it was called the Chicken Coop, and Gaten and Bonnie Brochu owned it. Yep. They did 
a pizza burger that I could taste in my mouth right now. It was like, you know, a patty that was like a pizza. You know, I had like a pizza taste to it. And Bonnie used to put a little bit of sauce, a little bit of shredded mozzarella on it. She'd cook one side, then flip it, put the sauce and shredded mozzarella on the other side, cover it, put it on a bun. Oh, my God. I could eat three at a time. Scorcher. I was oh, hit a mile that's high. That's Brendan Moody. Oh, that's, oh yeah, okay, Moody, yep. And Moody. he puts it away. So. Would that be, is that a can of corn? Yes. Okay, can of corn. That is a can of corn over there for the second baseman. Right, so it comes off Moody's bat. I'm sorry. Yes, after six, Hornets lead nine to three. All right. So Lance, I think we're going to see the closer, Tyler Rivard, come on to bolster down the save out of the pen. We'll be here to call it either way. Sure will. Be right back. Well, folks, we get ready to return here. Top of the seventh. Yep, Lance is going to give our sponsors a read real quick. You're watching Hazen Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. And Fiaschetti lays down a bunt. They're calling it a foul ball. I was going to say, I thought so. It looked like so. it hit him. Yeah. I was going to say, that looked like he got a piece of Fiaschetti at the plate. So am I correct in saying Harwood's got three outs left to try and get they into this game? sure do, Lance. Okay. You would be correct. As, like, as Lance and I just mentioned before we got back on the air, Rooney coming on to try and finish the complete game. Looking to go the complete game here. Looking to go the distance like Nolan Ryan used to every start. Oh, although most pitchers did back then. A lot of them did, yeah. That no, was, the pitch count didn't exist back then. No, it was pretty much your job to go the complete game as a starter back then. Man, Nolan Ryan, that guy threw till his arm fell off. I can just imagine a coach going out and telling Bob Gibson, you're at your pitch count, you got to come out. He would say no. Gibson would have kicked no. him in the butt and told him to go back in the dugout. True. Very true. Bob Gibson, one of the all-time greats. Yeah. As there you see, four for four for Fiaschetti today, Lance. He has ripped the cover off of he Rooney. Has. He has had Lyle's number. That, is, that has been a tough out for Rooney today. Fiaschetti has hit the ball extremely well. As Connor stands in, swing and a miss, big cut. Quick throw, quick throw down to first base there by Menard. Trying to catch the runners napping back there. Well, Lance, the good thing is the ice looks like play, it's wouldn't off it? Montgomery's ankle. Okay. Starting to. Let's hope he's okay. Yes. Chopper. Rebird. Oh, they got him in a pickle now. So, Lance, I believe he's oh, going to be out play. over there at third base. <laughs> I don't think you can hook the. As you see Spencer Howard say from over behind first, that is dirty. Revard did what you should do there and just. Yeah. <laughs> stood his ground. Stood his ground getting a pickle. And let me tell you, Lance, he's a tough kid to take down. Do you yeah. see the size of Tyler Revard? Yeah, I would try and take him down. You're not going to get him down with an ankle lock. No. Yeah. I'd like to see Kurt Angle put an ankle lock on this guy. <laughs> I'd like to see Bret Hart put him in the sharpshooter. Mm, I don't think it would happen. No. Although those guys are stronger than we probably are giving them credit for. Standing in now. This is Palermo. Runner on first, one out. Yes. Top of the seventh. Palermo, you, you see, Lance, you don't see too many pickles nowadays. No. Strike there by Rooney. I think Palermo thought it was a little low. Although the other day we had one, it was one of our guys, I can't remember who it was, but he actually beat the play back to second. It was... Uh, Quite something to see. Yeah, and I think he was out, but the, the umpires called him safe, and the umpire was standing right there, so... Yep, you know, so... I'm trying to remember which know. game, I, I can't remember which game it was and who it was, but I can't, but... <laughs> he would know better than us, Lance. Yeah. Our, our, our player did beat. A pickle. A pickle. Which is hard to do. First time I'd ever seen it. You know, live baseball like that. Yeah. Rooney now, he'll wind and fire. In there for a strike. Nice pitch. 0 oh 2 now to Palermo. 
ceilings. The dandelions are starting to grow out in the outfield. That they here. are. The Hudson Field. Spring has sprung, although you wouldn't have believed it this morning. Oh, yeah. Felt like October. Go, 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 So, Lance, I think we're going to have an incident just like earlier with the runner at first base on the drop third strike. He's out. So, Menard just squeezes it there behind home plate. Okay, so we're down to two outs. Uh, Harwood down to their last out. Who's up? Let me check. Number 18. Lance, that is Casey. Casey at the bat. Here with two outs, he top of the seventh. He hit a screamer to Davison in his last at bat. Weird not seeing the Molly Menard over at third base. Weird seeing him behind the plate. That's right, Jake better be ready. There's another chopper. Revar charges, comes across. There's the throw to first. High, and he's out. That's going to do it, folks. The final here from the Dan Hudson baseball field. It's a 9-3 to victory for your Cats. You read the sponsors one more time. Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, one of our sponsors today, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics. Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtc.lnst.org. Uh, James, player of the game. We know the player of the game was Tyler. Player of the game, that's your call. I'm going to give the player of the game to Lyle Rooney today, folks. Pitched complete, a complete game, threw complete the ball game. really, really well. All right. So, so we'll be back Tuesday for senior night yes. uh, against Thetford. So that should be a great oh, ball game. Last Always is. Two, uh, last two semifinal appearances right. for Hazen. Right here at Hudson Field. So until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.